Welcome here to Life at Five for the Western ASO 644 and Western Select. As you guys all know by now, Wednesday, we are indoors in beautiful Casa Wichmann. If you know what Casa Wichmann is, all right, that's my last name. Whoever can say that uh, gets a lollipop at the first practice. Um, guys, let me return. Guys, today we want to have obviously more fun here inside. We keep thinking about fun challenges for you guys that you can improve your soccer skills with. And we always try to do this with all your technical aspects, dribbling, shooting, passing, um, and receiving part of it. Now, today I set myself up here. What is this game called in English? Tic-tac-toe. Tic-tac-toe. So as you guys know how to, tic how to play tic-tac-toe, if I put a yellow down here, Coach Chrissy, let's play one round. And we mark ourselves up a little tic-tac-toe area. Coach Chrissy put orange. I'm going to go right here. All right, Coach Chrissy goes there. And I'm going to go here. And most likely now I will win. Boom. Right? So um, this is how the game works. Everybody knows. Right? All of you guys have played this. If you're young or old, that's one of the easy, simple games everybody knows how to play. We set ourselves a cone back here. And on our warm up round, we will just do it with a cone so everybody will get an understanding of what, we will, what we're doing. We're going to leave our cones back here. We will have one in our hands. Yes? And on our goal, Either one of us will choose. On our goal, we will both run to the square, or to the marked area, rather, and we will put our first cone wherever we feel like putting it. We can't put it in the same square. All right, so if she chooses there, uh, right before me, then I gotta go somewhere else. We don't wait for each other. As soon as we're done, we come back, we pick up our next cone, and we try to put it down. See, now I gotta react to her, okay? And it will keep going now. But what will happen at one point is each one of us only has four cones. Let's put all four cones down in a way, Coach Chrissy, that we are not beating each other. All right, good. And good, perfect, no, stop. Now, at this point, this is actually how we wanted it. At this point, we have to return, touch our cone, and now we gotta try to move our cones around Coach Chrissy to win the game. I could try to move this cone here and win the game. Yes, now, that becomes even a little bit harder at the end. It's a strategic game at the end, if we get to that situation. Hopefully somebody wins before that. But again, if at the end, you each put your four cones down and nobody won, we return without our cones, touch our starting cone, we put ourselves a blue cone here next to each other, and we return and we move the cones. Ready, guys? Let's play around. All right? Ready. Starting behind the line. Set, go. I took all my cones. Me too. So, you saw it's very important to not just play and try to win the game, but Coach Chrissy, when I put my cone down here first, I saw, oh my god, and she returned right away and I was like, okay, I gotta put it here, so she cannot win. When she came next, she decided, all right, I wanna keep winning, so she didn't pay attention to me. So guys, it's a strategic game, soccer is a strategic game. Think ahead of time. We're gonna play one more round with the cones. We gotta leave our cones here. <laughs> and then we're gonna to go to our soccer balls and show you how to do it with your soccer balls. Ready, set, go! Oh, sorry. You did that too! I think I took my go back with me. <laughs> All right, cool. Guys, so you see, it's quick reaction, it's changing speed. And we're not also just running. You saw sometimes we shuffled. We call it shuffling. When I need to move sideways, I can do that quicker sometimes than turning and running. So again, the shuffle, boom, boom. I can even step across one time. You see how I stepped across? This is all about movement, yeah? Okay, short breather. We're not getting younger. Now, Coach Chris is still young. Now, I, have all the white balls. Coach Chrissy has all the ones that are colored, or at least have some color besides white and black. Now we're gonna draw our balls there, and we're gonna stop our ball. Now, if you realize you ran back, and you realize, oh my god, my ball went out of the place, when you come with your next ball, make sure that you put both in the right spots and that they stay there. 
Yes, this one keeps moving. Now, it's not easy yet, so actually I have a great idea. I used to love doing this with my kids time. in practice. And guys, again, see, it's all about creativity. And when you're doing it, our balls are not gonna stay well in this spot, so what we're gonna do is, we're gonna put the cones down, and when you come here, you have to now just pick up your ball and put it on top. Yes, because rolling it up, rolling it up here on the surface, the cone will probably roll away. So we're just gonna pick it up with our hands and put it on top. But we will dribble it there. Yes, and when I get there, especially the young ones, guys, try to maybe stop your ball before you pick it up, if not, it will roll away. Yes? Coach Chrissy, are we ready? Ready, set, set go. go. Makes you think and strategically. Wow, it's 3 0 already for Kujana. Okay, <laughs> last round here. Yes, and we do it. And we use our outside to dribble. We can use our sword to stop the ball. I can even can flick the ball up to catch it. Yes, that's really up to you. Okay, last round. Go! Sometimes I can try to pass it through somebody's legs and go around it. So what we're gonna try to do right now, we're gonna we're gonna dribble up, we're gonna play it through. You can use something like this, you can maybe use a chair again, like we had yesterday for our other challenge. Yes, so it doesn't need to be a hurdle, it can be a chair, both of them are the same, yes, and I come up. I play it through. What part of my foot am I using right now? Right now, I'm using my inside. Oi, that wasn't good enough, guys. And the only advantage of having the hurdle instead of the chair is that there's only one obstacle in the way. All right, what else could I do? Maybe I put two chairs right next to each other and I make it a little bit more easy for me again. Yes. And I place something on top of that area. Something as simple as maybe my big set I brought you. Yes, now the area is a little bit smaller, but at least I don't have to pass those two legs. Yes, and what part did I use this time? This time I used my sole. 
So there's many different ways on how I can set up myself here with this. Yes. And again, one time, and my sword. I can hang my opponent with my sword. Maybe, guys, before you want to do that, Coach Chrissy, can you come in front of me on this side? Actually, sometimes Coach Chrissy defend it sideways up. Okay. But if I do this right here, guys, I have my ball in front of me, but if I do a side step, I might bring it here and I can measure that. Yes? Mm -hmm. Now, how can I practice this here? And I'm going to take this out of the way. Now I'm going to take my initial little thing. Yes? And you guys be creative with what you guys set yourself up as an obstacle. Yes? I'm going to move this out of the way again and show you a few more. Now, what I can do to practice this even more for the more advanced ones already, guys, maybe you do a step and then you play it through. Or a step and you roll it through. Yes? Now, the next thing I wanted to show you is that little chip or scoop. There's two different ways of doing this. So I can chip it under the ball, just over somebody's leg. Yes? I can right against the crossbar. Crossbar challenge, one point for Coach Young. Guys, what will I need? We talked about the chips, right? Outside. We get underneath the ball. Toes are down, heels up. But now when I go over a foot, I don't need that much power, but I need enough power to get ooh, again into the crossbar. So Coach Young needs to practice this for a second here with this small ball. It's a different feel. Oh! I Three times in a row. Three times in a row. What a feel today. Now, what can you do if you might feel, you come up, you stop, and you lift it over. Yes? You, or if you want to go with the lift right away, you roll it a little bit sideways. Now, then again, it's the scoop, guys. Remember on the scoop, I want to get underneath the ball early and lift. Yes? And you see I had more success right away. But I want to try one more time right here. Yes. And what I did this time a little better is, and you will experience this, with the coming in from a little angle and trying to use the outside of your foot to get more underneath it. Yes, guys, and you see it's always paying attention to detail, learning and adjusting. Even me as a 32 year old coach, don't tell anybody how old I am. All right, now, this was just for you guys here again to practice some skills. How can I get past an opponent if this space is not there anymore on the floor? I can maybe chip it over their leg. I can maybe scoop it over their leg. I can maybe try to create space and make the opponent, right? So these are all little advanced skills that you can practice for yourself, even inside with just a little obstacle. Okay, that was it to our daily um, new little skills to teach you. What we want to go into now is two more competitions. And we know that everybody will have this space. We will show it first with my sofa. I have the luxury of having my sofa here, perfectly set up. Coach Chrissy, can you go behind the sofa? Probably. Yeah, maybe a smaller ball, maybe. The first, first so Coach Chrissy and I will actually try it with a Nerf so ball. And we will play a little bit of soccer tennis. Now, you can play as a team, or you can play against each other. First, we will play as a team. And I would like you and your partner to play as a team and let us know how many times, Coach Chrissy, right now we're gonna just play, it can bounce as many times as it wants to, but it cannot start rolling, all right? And it needs to stay, well, it needs to stay in the end in the area, okay? So, bounce, over. Bounce, and you see she keeps it bouncing. Ooh, we only got one. Now, when it goes in the net though, it's over. My sofa right now is the net, and we're gonna show you a few more things that you can use as your net if you don't have such a big sofa or such a big area. Yeah, so one more time, control. She doesn't have to control, you see she, oh, we can't even get two. So today is it Wednesday, the day of fails. Coach Jan failed three times in a row. Now, today, we're gonna to set all the way into the net again. And that's three now. On the fourth one, we're gonna do better, we promise. All right, bounce, prepare, bounce. Okay, bounce, that's three, four, and I could control it here as long as I want to, until I want to play it over and you see my weak foot, what a mistake here. So we got four, one, we want to get to at least 10 push Chris, you all right? Two, three, four, and see 
velocity, all I got to do is keep it up. Five, six, seven. And you guys see, it's always about finding your rhythm. Eight, nine, ten. Ten. All right. Now, we wanted to get at least ten. We got ten. What can we use if we don't have a big sofa? Maybe you guys just bring in your two garbage cans. Yes? Or your one garbage can and you just stand it up. Alright? And maybe you use or that's even better. You use two chairs. Yeah? Now we need a tiny little space. We know when we hit the net, if it goes into that space, and now we can play here. Three, four, five, and that was five. Now, we can also play this game against each other. And now for the more advanced ones, you can play one bounce only, meaning when I play it across to Coach Chrissy, it can only take one bounce. She has, however, three touches. Mm -hmm. So if she wants to take a touch and then let it bounce. Two, three. One, two, mm -hmm. oh, and she missed. So, but you guys get the idea. You have up to three touches. You can play it back with one, two, or three. You can also play against each other like you just played with each other. That you can take as many bounces. But what I just explained to you are the real soccer tennis rules. Yes? Now. I'm going to serve, we're going to play up to three, yes? Boundaries are just right here in the area, all right? Anything where it deflects off, you can keep playing. Street rules. And you guys see, I serve off the bounce. One zero. And in the real game is, if it bounces off the net and goes over to her, just like in tennis, it's a point for me. You say, sorry, it's my serve. And since it's my point, it's my serve. All right, guys, one zero. Ooh, yeah. one one. All right, so now, what parts of my feet can I control the ball with? Remember, we worked on this. When you do your bounce juggling, you work on this. Yeah, you can use your laces, you can play it up with your inside, you can use your thigh to keep it up. Remember, can you serve on ball with Chrissy? Remember to get in line with the flight of the ball first, then you can just watch it, throw on it. And you can just let it bounce off of you in some type of way. I use my thigh right now to push it up a little bit. Yes. All right, one more. Coach Chrissy, serve. Play. Two, one. All right. Mm -hmm. And out. Two, two. Should we play two points wins or one point wins? Two points. Two points? Are you nervous? No. <laughs> Alright guys, and you see how we try to stay in line with the ball? Ah. Three, two. And four, two. And I wanted to say, Coach Jan is a master soccer tennis player. Alright. <laughs> Alright, so I win this challenge. This was soccer tennis for you. We showed you different ways on how you can play it. That really is up to you again. Now, the next thing we would love to do, yeah, you can move this out of the way. And actually we have a square here already, but I wanted to do it with a ring because then the balls will stay there a little bit more. We're gonna play soccer marbles. Mm -hmm. Let's get our nerf balls. All right, Coach Chrissy, and we will try to roll it into the ring. Whatever ball is closer to the ring or inside of it will win. Okay. If both balls go in or we are undecided on who is closer, we redo. Yes, or it's time. Oh, no. It's coming back. Yes. Coach Jan, one point. Guys, and again, this is just fun stuff. Create a feeling with your soul. How hard can I roll this ball? And enjoy, which part of the soul are we using again? The front of our soul. 
and enjoy the fun competition you have with your partner. Yes? Way too hard, but you can sometimes just have different objectives, right? Ah! Wait. Like we said, sometimes you can have different objectives. <laughs> Two zero. Two zero. Go. Oh no, it curved off. I can't. How unlucky. In and through and out by Coach Chrissy's point, guys. Two to one. Up to three we play. And we're even enjoying this part of it. Being inside, just with friends, having fun here. Oi! But. <sighs> very close. Coach Jan wins this challenge as well. Today is my day, guys. Chat too gotta, soft. I gotta finish up strong. Now, this was soft and out. Now, not everybody has the opportunity to, to do what I'm gonna do now. If you have a couple of cardboard boxes, you can do the same thing and just stack them up on top of each other. Let me bring Coach Chrissy. You show a little quick skill to them, and I will bring my box. I think I can get it one more time. Let's try to get it in that box. Oh, yes. Right, but it doesn't matter. I, I almost got it on that one. Okay, guys. Now, I'm lucky. We're playing with nerf balls, and I only want you to do this with nerf balls inside your house. The best thing at a wall where you can break nothing. We have different levels here now. One point, two points, three points, Four points. The top two levels are four points, three, two, one. All right? And we try to make it in there. If the ball pops back, pops back out, it's okay, but it has to go in. Okay. Yes? And we will try to get our points by. Ooh, off the post. Your turn, Coach Chrissy. And we, again, this week inside, we want to work through all skills. <gasps> That was so good, guys. Four points with we this have this. There's a TikTok video right there for you guys. All right, now. And again with power is not happening, guys. And I just realized my technique was wrong too. I drifted away to the left. The ball went to the left. You could copy so me. So maybe I will copy her, maybe not. But yes, I might have to. But guys, you know, Five, zero. You know I'm a stubborn German. Sometimes, so I'll stay with my Not so much power. Off the post again. 5 0. What are we playing oh to? Coach, 10? You can get one. What are we playing to? 10? Sure. Guys, and again, you should see how we're using different techniques. She's using her scoop. She gets underneath it and scoops it up. Right? Nice second finish. Um, I'm using my inside. Hopefully, I can at least score one more time. I hit that post three Go times. Go for the one point, Coach John. It's nice and easy. I thought it would be safe. such a fun challenge, guys. And then I'm standing here and I can't get one ball into this thing. It's 5 0 still. Coach Chrissy. 5 0. Coach Jan comes up. <laughs> <laughs> Coach Jan is very unlucky right now. But I'll be back. And we just got to play to 7. 10 will be a little bit too long because we have one more challenge. There's three. Oh, and, uh, yeah, there's three points. We said if it comes back out, it's the cost. Three points. Three to five. Three to five. Oh, goodness. <laughs> but guys, see, it's always when you first start something, try to figure it out yourself. As long as you need a coach that always step in going, that always tells you what to do, that one went you in. will not be a great player. They're yeah. saying it went in. That one. In. All right, that's five, four points. It's seven. I win. Three and four is seven. <laughs> but wait, you counted wrong. You hit it up there earlier. So Coach I Chrissy to, actually I had wins. All right, I got to give it to her. This is it. We're going to do our last competition very quickly right here, and then we're going to let you go. And this is called the backwards challenge. Coach Chrissy, go by the piano, and I'm going to be back here by my sofa. This, my target is the bottom of the piano. Your target is the bottom of the sofa. With the back to me, and you can practice and put your ball away. 
and you can practice this as a field player and for the goalies a lot of fun. So I will try to, I will say go and I will say that before I will shoot my ball. When I say go, she turns, all right? And I will try to score on the floor on her. On the floor. On the floor means I punch the middle of my little nerf ball and it does not go in the air. Yes, go. All right, and it's her turn. Now she will try to do the same thing on me. Go. All right, and it requires quick reaction from you. Go. Ooh, off target, no point. All right. Go. And it requires quick reaction from you. And uh, know where the ball is quickly. Go. <laughs> right into her, guys. Now, if you have a little bit wider area where you can play on, then you might increase your chance of score. Go! Yeah! Ooh, through my legs. legs! We let her win this one. Alright, now at the end of the day, Wednesday ends with Coach Jan's win. Alright, and we hope that you enjoyed this. We hope that you set up your own challenges. I walked by this earlier in my back room. And I have no use for it usually. There's a bunch of little stupid things laying in there. I was like, I can do something with this in here. So be creative again. And have a lot of fun like we do here every day for our 20 minutes. Enjoy the rest of your day. Practice your challenges. Tag us in your videos. Go Western AYS 644. And Western Select. See you later, guys.